Shot clock is down to three. Bulls a bit too casual on this possession. They turn it over, and here's Watson with the... F oh, he blows it! Watson... You know, we could sit here and list all kinds of achievements in his career when you play 19 seasons and you do the things that this guy has done. He's got a resume that can uh, fill up more than one TV screen. But honestly, what stands out for me is this guy's rep as a teammate. I don't Let's bring in Mike Mazio, who covers the Nets for ESPNNewYork.com. Mike, we often hear about a point guard being a coach on the court. What more can you tell us of this situation? Because he's literally a rookie coach having just worn the uniform. Yeah, absolutely. This is you know, it's an unbelievable story. Um, kid's going to sign a three-year deal with the Nets, according to the league source. But um, you know, it's kind of shocking. Nets history as we welcome the 18th head coach of the Nets and the first Brooklyn Nets head coach. We have great leadership. Uh, that can help build us to where we want to get to and, and show us the direction of uh, helping our players uh, to compete. And we really wanted to resemble Brooklyn. So my um, first of all, I would just like to thank the Nets um, for this great opportunity, great challenge. And so I'm looking very forward to this. Um, like Billy says, yes, I have a lot to learn about coaching, but when I played the game, I felt like I was the extension of the coach. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Jason Terry, all going to the Brooklyn Nets. Celtics get three number ones, 2014, 2016, 2018. Humphreys, Wallace, Evans, uh, just a bunch. Nets general manager Billy King, Nets head coach Jason Kidd, and our newest Nets, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, and Jason Terry. And for basketball, I think uh, when you are building a team, if you can add players, you want to add players with a championship pedigree. The three players here, uh, all champions, and sitting in the back and just talking to them, what they bring is not just basketball. They'll bring knowledge, they'll bring experience, they'll bring competitiveness, they'll bring toughness. Here, uh, win a championship, bring in the pieces necessary, uh, new arena, new owners, new excitement. Uh, it really brings a little bit of excitement. <laughs> What's up, Brooklyn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> timing, I think, in terms of giving the players their due, not stealing the thunder from them. But then I started to immediately think he was talking about a championship when he became the owner of this team, and I started to think. He's inbounding the ball. Watch him. Garnett's got it with four. Joe Johnson, game in his hands, backs up at the horn. Good! Joe Johnson one more time, and Brooklyn wins it in Oklahoma City. Three, off the mark, rebound knocked around. Joe Johnson comes away with it. Two seconds left. Johnson lays it up, and in for the win! Joe Johnson, a walk-off victory for Brooklyn. What is the impact going to be here on the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, uh, Jay, it's, it's a devastating blow for this team. I mean, Brooke Lopez, you know, the Nets were off to a disappointing start, but Brooke Lopez was the one advantage they had over so many teams. Here's Another three, and Mears is two of two from deep. Since it's lofted into Carter, who finds Nowitzki, blocked by Toledovich, and then Kirilenko on the denial. Toledovich with a gamble defensively. Here we go again. Toledovich, you bet it!
Right past this guy, he can't stop me. Livingston denied by the rim. Anderson played a role. It's a five-point game. James pushing and shoving. James and Toledovich. Beasley came flying in. Kirilenko trying to play the role of Peacemaker, as is Jason Kidd. Players cannot leave their area of the bench as Eric Spolstra comes all the way across the floor.